Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Manor Lots is having an issue with crashing at startup, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on this one. Go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. So once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game. We have to check whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So hence we're in the Steam. So that might be the reason why we are having the crashing issue. So we should be try launch the game from the installation folder. So to navigate to the installation folder, we have two methods. One, we have a shortcut from the Steam and we have to navigate to the using installation folder. For the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the manual lots, right click and go to the properties. Now go to the install it file and just click on the browse, which will very easily redirect you to the installation folder. That is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common manual lots. Now from here we have to launch the game. So launching the game from here in most cases did work it for many users apart from launching it from the Steam so you can try this out. Third step is all about we have to run the game as administrator. So just right click over here, go to the show more options, go to the properties, compatibility and click on run this program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok. Also you can try run the game in the windows mode so just right click over here go over here into show more options, go to the properties, compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to windows 7 as the first one, go for apply or you can set this to windows 8, go for apply and go for ok. So once you're done with this one, you can close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to make sure the date, time, region is correct. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search, go for settings, search for settings like this go over here in the settings go for time and language go for date and time make sure time zone automatically should be turned on time automatically should be turned on and also these three things should be turned on and also we have to go back go to the language and region make sure the country is according to geography which means if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom you have to go for any other country according to geography and once you're done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to delete the saved game files so we'll just go over here in the file explorer go to the uh, this pc navigate to the documents and over here you will be find the folder for the manual lots when you started playing the game and saving each progressions you have to delete the respective folder once you delete the respective folder Afterwards, you'll be losing all the progressions and once afterwards, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel, search for the control panel, search for control panel and click on this one. Now from here, we have to go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, keep scrolling down and navigate to manual lots. So just keep scrolling down to the manual lots so you'll be able to find the manual lots here and also we have to make sure the private and public both has to be marked or else we'll be having the trouble so both has to be marked so once you mark this you are fine with it so if you don't know how to add the game if the game is not here and if it's not available we can add it by default just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam Navigate to Steam Apps, go to the common. Now from here, navigate to the game, manual lots, and you'll be able to find it. So where is the game? We have to just go over here, manual lots, open this one, select this one, and go for open and add it. I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So this is what we have to do. Once you're done with this one, just close everything, and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected to any other peripherals. For example, external joysticks might be connected or any external device might be connected which is causing the issue up. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, you have to launch the game 
and you have to connect it back and try continue playing the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration or search for system configuration and we have to go over here in the services go for disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you restart you have to go for restart but here in the middle of shooting so i'm gonna go for exit without restart so once afterwards we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file not install it file just go over here in the general make sure this is turned on if it is turned on you have to turn this off try launch the game and also try giving the commands in the launch option the first command is we have to try with dx11 if dx11 is not working you have to try giving the command dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to start with dx12 any one of the things will be working fine and that is what we have to do once after done with this one still if you are having the trouble whenever you are trying to launch the game we have to move to next one that is all about we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game on the uh, start right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here we have to go over here and from here what we need to do is we just need to uh, remove the unwanted things for example uh, river tuner msa afterburner everything should be removed from here and once everything is removed we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search search for graphics settings click over here and now from here we just need to navigate to the manual lots if the game is not be here by default so just click on the browse now from here we have to navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps navigate to common and we have to navigate to manual lots now we just need to go over here into the manual lots over here select this one and add it so once it is added just click on the option change this from let windows decide to high performance and go for save once everything is saved we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting just click over here navigate to the advanced go for settings once again advance it once again and go for change unplug uh, you have to uncheck this select the local disk c and we have to go to the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size 3 times the total ram so we just need to give the value so first we need to do a calculation go for calculator so just type your ram 32 gb is my ram so i have to multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 so just type 14 and 152 next one we have to go for the maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 so we have to call, uh, type these values and we have to go for ok and once everything has been set we just need to close this and we have to go back next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the window so just go over here in the search go for settings just go over here now we just need to go over here in the windows update and just make sure the windows is up to date or else you'll be having the trouble so just update the windows next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the nvidia the nvidia users has to go over here select everything for example you have to select the product type products should be selected product series should be selected operating system should be selected if it is windows 11 everything should be selected and go for start search now from here if the version is 552.22 you have to download this one and the size is around 634.6 mb so you have to download this one and install a restart is a mandatory and we have to try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to go over here so find the details over here for the graphics and you have to select which one is yours you have to select the details and go for submit so you'll be getting the options to download so you can download these options and once you download it you will be able to download this and install and restart is a mandatory next one is all about nothing but you can also try installing the microsoft direct x you can also download this one and install a restart as well and also you can try downloading the microsoft visual c plus plus from here if the system is based on x64 you have to download this one if the system is based on x86 we can download this one and install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game even even after trying with all these things still the issues there you can also try 
uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here go to the manager and uninstall the game for reinstall you have to try back and for last one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so it is going to take a little bit of time what you need is it will be cross checking every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so we just need to wait this to reach 100% So once everything is done just close everything and start launching the game and it will be fixed and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.